There's hockey players and there's pros. Hockey players will end up being here Tuesday, Wednesday nights in a few years and play men's league hockey, which is a great thing too. Go on to something else. Not everybody's going to play pro hockey. Pros are everydayers. And in a week, it's very tough to make you perfect, but I want you to leave here tomorrow and say, I wrote enough down, I learned enough, okay, and I'm going to be a different hockey player. An everydayer is somebody who comes here that wants to learn and puts an effort in. Gives me 100%. It's hard work to do all the right things. It's hard work to be an everydayer. It's a job. I've been to a lot of camps where a lot of pro guys have gone to them and uh, uh, they still go to them and they're still well-known camps that are still running right now but uh, I don't think those even can really compare to some of the stuff that Jim is teaching us right now. As a player he gave me tons of opportunities like I played in the QMJHL last year for half the season and that all started with Jim. Uh, we went in this tournament and now I'm trying to finish off my junior career and go pro. Everything is pretty much touched on your strengths, your weaknesses, uh, all the skating at the start, the drills, the gameplay situations. Now, if you really wanted to get that guy, could you have gotten him? I think you can. You're here at what? Just so you know, he's here at 6.30 in the morning. I'm sitting in my chair and he's running in the parking lot. Not to brag about him. I'm going, he's already running before camp. So could you have got that guy if you wanted to get him? I'm guessing you could have watching you run in the parking lot every morning. So make sure you put that stick on his stick and right away he's got nowhere to go and you're gonna finish the check, plays back. The great coaching staff. Nick Polakoff is just my skill guy in JT Prospects. Russian born and moved here when he was 14 and an unbelievable skills coach to teach the kids skill but under a really, really good hockey mind. So he really teaches hockey, the game. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't throw the puck away from yourself, right? Slow it down over here. You lose the puck once, twice, third time, you're not gonna lose it anymore. You're gonna make a great play. Does that make sense? Corey Burke, no former pro defenseman, OHL player. So I got, you know, 12 defensemen in this camp. He runs the D. I mean, you got a guy that played at a high level. So it's, every position has a pro, and obviously I oversee the whole thing, and you know, starts with me and then filters down, but a great coaching staff.
Jim has uh, a million places he can be in his life after hockey, and he's chosen distinctly to be here helping kids, and uh, he's actually empowering kids using the tool of hockey. And let's face it, at the end of the day, they're all going to be fathers. They're all going to have a job. They might own their own company. So instilling the work ethic and, and all the right things to go along with responsibilities in life. What we're talking about is today, what are you going to do to make others feel good? What are you going to do to, to lend a hand to somebody else? Nobody's good enough to succeed on ice if they're living the wrong way off ice. So you could be the most talented guy, but if you're up late partying, doing all those things, it will catch up with you. I lived it. You, know, you want to do drugs and, and sit in a two-day party, blowing your brains out? Go ahead. I, I lived it. I'm telling you not to do it because it'll destroy you. So my motivation is knowing that I'm setting them into the real world with an extra education card saying, I remember Jim saying this, stay away from the people who are going to bring me down. If they do that, then they're ahead of the game. You can't just be a, a good, a skilled hockey player, you have to be a well-rounded individual, uh, whether it's outside, at home, in the room. Uh, five days of this is just every day you have to show up, the same attitude, work ethic, and that rubs off on you and everyone around you. So. We have, I don't know, 8 to 12 Junior A teams here tomorrow scouting. And I will tell you that uh, there will be some players that are offered contracts out of this game tomorrow.